Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with The Clueless Gamer. Today we are going to pick our 1.5 Empire campaign back up. I believe we're on episode 6 right now. In the last episode, I managed to craft this guy right here. This glorious, glorious thing. Okay, it doesn't look that glorious right now, but... <laughs> But it was, it was incredible to be able to make something like that. And even though part of me wants to keep it, I'd rather have the cash. As you can see, I'm kind of uh, a little strapped right now. I guess I could sell this, but anyway, um, a couple of different things here. They updated all of the images, so it's a little easier to tell what's what now. And uh, a couple of other things. I realize now, of course, that you guys may not enjoy the, the crafting aspect as much. Of course, I watch my videos uh, just to kind of review them and see how they are. And even though I'm super intrigued by what the crafting could produce, I realize it doesn't make for the most exciting gameplay. So moving forward, what I'm going to do is craft off camera. So, I'll, you know, I won't record crafting. I'll just have weapons here and then I can kind of stockpile them and sell them as needed. So you won't have to deal with that. Um, yeah, so sorry about that if it seemed like it was a little slow. Of course, feel free to chime in with any feedback you have as I'm always looking to try and improve uh, the videos. After all, they are for you. So uh, on that note, I want to let you know what my strategy is going to be. What am I gonna do? I've established an income, kind of, let's see. I have two caravans running. Uh, I think what I would like to do now is get a couple of workshops under my belt and then we're going to do one of two things and we'll fill it out together either a i'm going to target a uh, smaller faction so a smaller faction would be something along the lines of uh, where are they there you go minor right there so these minor guys now these guys are the ones that have super unique troops or whatever so i'm probably going to target one of these maybe even the hidden hand they're probably one of the easier ones to fight somebody that's not currently contracted with another you know clan and i'm going to kill them all i'm going to cut off their heads kill them all and i'm going to do that because what the hell is the point of having this this you know flow of income if I'm not utilizing it to create exciting gameplay? And then once we get to clan tier three, that's when I'm going to stack up my troops. And my goal is gonna to be to take Azerai. All of Azerai's territories for a couple of reasons. One, I like that there's only two choke points to get in. Over here and over here. Um, I can use them to quite easily defeat the Empire. So even though I'm using Empire troops right now, as I kind of take these territories, I do plan to convert everything to um, Azerai. So that is my goal, and I just need you guys to get behind me on that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and and do that. Take a quick peek at the... Actually, who are my current? So I do have a Spice Vendor, and she has trade. And so does she. Perfect. So I already have that good to go. I do need to get me some workshops. So let me get everything I'm going to need here. I was hoping I could find maybe some better armor or whatever. But alas, there is none. So, which is fine. Let's stock up on some horses. And let's hook her up real quick. Oh, guys, get your get your minds out of the gutter, okay? Get your minds out of the gutter. I'm going to have her go into battle <laughs> like this just to distract people. Oh, no, no, I, I need to take a bunch of stuff before I do anything else. So I probably should have given her stuff before I did that. 
give her my helmet. I will take this helmet. What about this cape? Yeah, I'll take the cape. She can have the bear skin. What does mine look like? Oh, I gave her the better one. No, sight. And then I'll probably just pick up better. Oh, there isn't better. Hand armor, or arm armor. So let's just give her whatever. What's the first one here? Okay. Let's make sure she has... I mean, she had a one-hander, right? So let's just get her another one-hander. Good Spatha. I could splurge a little bit since I have so much freaking cash. Let's get her a nice ornate shield. Look at that. And I think for her, because I don't want her to get killed, let's have her learn to shoot. That's what we're going to do. And I still have money to blow. Imperial right. Spear. How about a Lance? Let's get a Lance. That'll do for now, I guess. Mm. What the hell else should I get? I feel like I, I can't spend all of this money. Uh, let's grab all the sheep, the hogs. Let's grab all the hardwood. I could use that later when I'm farting around with that. And I still haven't spent enough money. <laughs> you know, I thought this would be a little easier, but I guess it's not. Uh, what happens if I take this? You will pay 500. I guess I'll grab the rest of the horses. I'll grab this horse armor. Grab sure the mules so they can carry. There isn't better armor though. I think I chose the worst city <laughs> to come to for this stuff. But you know what I could do? I could just per like buy these, literally just to break them down later. So I think I'll do that. Just for their resources. There you go. So we'll hold all this stuff. And that's what I'll keep that for. Awesome. Back up to 40k. And I have a bunch of resources. So. Next plan of action. Let's buy a workshop. I think that should definitely be the next thing I do here. And buy one. So, And this town is pretty prosperous so let's go ahead and do that for some reason just tend to do well so we're gonna leave it there all right i want to fight somebody 
Can I fight this guy? So let's go to the waterfront and clear out those bandits. That'll be a fun way to get a little extra cash. Are you ready to fight the other sword? Okay. Start right here. Passing out on me. Oh my god. <laughs> I deserve that. I did not expect my <laughs> PC to spaz out. Alright, whatever. Okay, I bought the workshop. I have the caravans. And now I just need to uh, get to the next clan tier. I don't need that much. I think what I'll do is we'll go to a bunch of tournaments. We'll do that. And I think also if we defeat a hideout, that'll give us some points as well. So we may do that. There you go. Starting to bring in that cash already. Yeah, see, I can't now do that until I'm healed up. Perfect. Who's the surgeon? She's the surgeon, right? Be the surgeon. Goodness, the healing rate is ass. <laughs> well, I'm not dead. I guess I should be happy about that because that idiot move could have gotten me killed. So... I'm really looking forward to just ripping down an empire from scratch. I think that's going to be fun. team fight. Let's go. Come on. I'll split your skull. Oh, ho, ho. I don't think that's gonna... I don't think that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> Dude. Done. I got my three crafted mace. You mean the mace that I made? Perfect. I want it in a tournament. Just keep it and break it down. 
Let's talk to the guy and see where the next tournaments are happening. And literally just knock that out. I should be able to get all the renown I need to the clan tier up before the end of the episode. Oh, perfect. Yep. That's super close. They're both really close, actually. <clears throat> so we'll do this one first. And then we'll head up to Onaira, which is right over here. I don't think I've ever played a campaign where they were that close. Which is perfect. These guys are really going at it. Oh no! Oh, I think we're gonna be just fine. I managed to save my guys. But it is two horsemen. I think we'll make it though just because of the number of colors. No, 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 no. Don't skip. The suspense is killing me. Oh! Oh, oh, damn. I was really rooting for our boy there. Ooh, he got back on a horse. Is he gonna give it to him? He really likes him now, huh? Look at that. Uh-oh. Took out the horse. I have a feeling he's gonna kill this guy's horse. Ooh, that could have. That was great, but it could have gone the complete other way. <laughs> that was fun to watch. slow but I am heavy and there's a lot of I'm wearing a lot of heavy armor that was unexpectedly easy ouch Let's go to Onaira. You know what else might be fun too? If I, when I clan tier up or whatever, I can go get a bunch of the nomads here, level them up to horse archers. And that'll be a highly effective way of dealing with Azurai. Empire heavy infantry and uh, Kuzite horse archers. That's a deadly combination. I think I'm gonna do that. Perfect arena, save, let's do this. How close am I now? 
two tournaments away. Let's do it. The recruit gave me the hardest fight. <laughs> Let's do it. Nice little one tap, one two tap. Ouch. Aren't you on my team in my party? there. Alright, and this will do it right here. The speed that my guy swings is ridiculous. It's almost unfair. Actually, both of those are relatively close. This one's actually right up here. It's not far at all. And this one will take me for sure to the next clan tier, right? Yeah. Okay. Then we will be golden. Tournaments all day, baby. <laughs> Look at they're gifting me one of my swords. It's perfect. Ooh. Ooh, my bad fan. Done. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this will trigger the next part of the situation, right? Doesn't my brother meet me and then the storyline? I'm like 99% sure that's the case. Yep, there it is. You know what, I think this is a perfect place to call it, actually. So in the next one, we'll just knock out the main quest real quick. So we'll go rescue my siblings. I'll end up with my brother, who's a fantastic character. And then if I want to get married, I could. But I don't want to waste too much time on that. I really want to spend time getting the Kuzites and establishing my army so that I can focus on targeting one of these minor factions and just wiping them out. I think that'll make, that'll make for good content. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button, and I'll catch you in the next one.